What's new in Awaken OS version 1.1 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video and we have a new build of Awaken OS which is version 1.1 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1 and let us get down to business and see what is new in this build. Now, before you ask me, SE Linux is enforcing. However, I'm not sure why the about page shows it as permissive. I think that is something which the developers might have to fix. Next up, another small change you will notice is that Google Sans font has been removed. However, you can now choose different fonts. But before that, let us address the elephant in the room and yes, face unlock has been added go into security set up your pin tap on face unlock you do need to enter your pin one more time once we have entered our pin let us tap on next it gives us some information about face unlock tap on next bam there it is ir camera activated black and white picture in the building which means this is your much loved ir face unlock let me set that up real quick and once you have set it up it tells you you're all set you can now unlock your device with just a glance tap on done let us give it a try and here it is wish me luck bam super fast give it one more try booyah working like a boss so there it is the elephant in the room has been addressed and it is walking as it should which means face unlock works like a boss another thing i would like to add is that once you've added your face if you tap on face unlock add your pin one more time and then you can tap on next you do have the option of either unlocking your phone directly with face unlock or you can just keep it at the lock screen with this toggle and you also have the option of skipping the lock screen as well which is what is enabled right now Next up, we can have a look at the other customizations which have been added with Awaken OS version 1.1. So we'll go into settings and battery. You do have per app thermal profiles and you have a new section for battery health. It tells us our designed battery capacity, the current battery capacity and the charge cycles completed along with battery temperature. And I do recommend that you watch the Awaken OS 1.1 zero android 11 video for the poco f1 which i did which you can find in the pinned comment on this video next up more customizations have been added in display so we'll go into display if you tap on styles and wallpapers you still have the old style wherein you do not have the option of customizing your clock then they have added a few new toggles so you now have the option of displaying the 4g icon signal instead of lte roaming indicator toggle is also there you also have the option to enable or disable the data disabled icon in your status bar in lock screen you can customize your ambient display if you go into advanced settings so you have pickup hand wave pocket all these options are working absolutely fine then you also have double tap to wake and again these options are working absolutely fine along with dark theme and the option to schedule your dark theme at a custom time then as i mentioned earlier unfortunately google sans font has been removed and that is because google doesn't want roms which are based on aosp to use that font but you do have multiple font options which you can use on this build as you can see i am using oneplus slate right now then you can customize your icon shape as well so right now the default icon shape looks like this let us try changing this to say teardrop and bam there it is you can see that we have the teardrop icon shapes on our quick settings and in our home screen and the other icons as well then you also have the option of changing your accent color using this accent picker it is set as red right now let us change this to say green so you need to select your accent color or you can enter the hex code over here and then press on the color to apply bam there it is green accent color in the building working like a boss and in case you want to enable 
the new tent style that is also present you do have to restart your device for that next up you will find new customizations if you go into system gestures and navigation they have brought back the two button gesture navigation from android 9.0 pi in case you're a fan of this i just prefer to use the gesture navigation and an option which i would appreciate is the option to hide the ugly back arrow and this ugly bar at the bottom but other than that most of the options are good in this build for now next up we can have a look at the new tiles which have been added so you have cpu info tile and there it is working like a boss then you have the caffeine tile wherein once you enable it your screen won't turn off and you also have the reboot tile if you want to add more tiles here are your different options of the different tiles which you can add on awaken os version 1.1 now in terms of magisk and safety net safety net does not pass out of the box which means you might have to root your device and as you can see my device is rooted right now and if i check for safety net it is failing what we're going to try next is we're going to enable magisk hide and then check for safety net one more time and bam there it is you can see that safety net is passing so for you to use your banking apps on this build you might have to root it and enable magisk hide and before i forget you do have google assistant baked in however you do not get the new style of google assistant you'll have to do with the old google assistant next up we can see a few things which have not yet been fixed so for me the select option is still not working and on my previous video some of you commented to you know remove updates for device personalization services well surprisingly on this build you do not have device personalization services so let us click on show system and here and we can search for device you can see i do not have the option for device personalization services and the select option doesn't work either i have of course updated all my applications from the play store and there are no updates which are available you can see that all the applications have been updated so this is one of the bugs next up if you try to hide the notch so we can go into display and we can try to hide the notch here it is display cutout hide and if we unhide it you will see that there is still a small jitter and a lag so this is another issue which is yet to be addressed and Huh. so looks like for me to start using gestures once i hide the cutout i might have to reboot my device so for now we're just going to skip that and other than that we can also look for screen recorder so the previous build had an issue wherein once you started screen recording the ui would be jittery and laggy so we can wait for the screen recorder to start so we can check the system ui now so this is definitely better than earlier but not as smooth as you would want it to be so some work is still required in screen recorder as well now do note android 11 is still very young and it will take some time to figure out and fix all these issues but it is pretty nice to have you know android 11 builds for the poco f1 so that you can Try them out and as you can see bubbles and all the other features are working absolutely fine we can also scroll down my google feed there it is no jitters and no lags we can have a look at the recents working absolutely fine everything is super fast we can also try switching between the applications there it is super cool super smooth so no issues with respect to the gestures and stuff however there are a few minor issues which i mentioned which do need to be ironed out other than that all your android 11 features like your media controls in the status bar youtube picture in picture all those options are working absolutely fine on awaken os 1.1 and there it is peeps that was what is new in awaken os 1.1 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.